Okay, so I'm very close to the edge there, see, and I'm on pink. And I always know that this is my next color to use. I already got used to the pattern. <laughs> and what you do is you go and you place one here. And you're supposed to have two of these. Wait, yes. Because see, I have this one here. So the next one has two of the same. And now, how, what colors you end up right here are not always important. Because we usually end up putting something here. Anything? And then I like to do the next one a pink. It kind of gets um, strange to work here in this area. So a lot of times I'll lark set it on. And then I'll decide if I want to put it on this side or if I want to squeeze it back over to this side. And I think I'm going to squeeze it over and like put it right in the center here. And you can do it any way you want. You can, this is, it's okay if this shows. Let's see it from this side. Because you were going to put something right here. But so right at this point, I decide, do I want it right in the center or do I want to put it right there? And I think I'm going to put it right there, right there. Okay. That's how I like it right there. And then I'm going to start with the next pattern, which is again, this one. Mm -hmm. And before, like I said before, you tighten it up. Put it on on this, like over on this side. And then before you tighten it, because it's kind of strange working here, kind of push it over and then tighten it up. And it is okay if a little bit of the other shows because we're going to be putting an embellishment on there. So that's pretty much how I do it. And I do need this one next. It's like this one's kind of thick. Okay, I guess. Alrighty. So here we go. Now I want you to continue along to the other. Keep on going with the same pattern until you get all the way over here. I think maybe for your benefit, let's count the pinks since the pinks stand out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we could probably, we might be able to fit one more pattern on this side, and it might be twelve. So it'll be either eleven or twelve, depending on what happens here. So after um, I'm done with this part, we're gonna Lark's had a large amount of them here, and then we'll just fill in here with a couple of extras, depending on what we need. Um, a lot of times. Um, how many pieces you use have a lot to do with how thick you cut your um, how thick you cut your strips. So if you cut a really thick strip, like this is too thick, I think, then and you're using the thick strips, the thick strips will make it a little harder for you to work with when you're placing it on something so small. So if you make them too thick, then you might want to thin them out a little bit and it feels too hard to work with, but um, I just noticed my glue gun's still on. I don't need it right now. I might need it later. But, um, so, again, I tighten it. Before I tighten it, I kind of pull it forward and then do it tight. And you can actually tighten the one next to it. So, there you go. And just keep on with your pattern. I will come back when I'm close to the end and I'll have you grab 
the next thing pieces of fabric that will be in your kit. Okay, um, I just thought maybe I hadn't explained something well enough to you, so I decided to come back and before I'm done and show you. Okay, when you put it on, okay, before you tighten it up, because I've, I've told you this, but I really haven't demonstrated it well enough, I don't think. You push, before you tighten this up, you push it down towards the other one. And then you tighten this up a bit. Okay, that way you won't have to be moving it, trying to get it, move it when it's really tight. So, let's see, I put that one. Okay, we're due for a peek. A lot of times different colors you can see better and this one's a little narrower mm -hmm. one more time you leave it kind of loose pull it forward sometimes I don't realize that I'm doing something that I didn't explain can you see that okay how I did that Okay, well, I'm going to go keep on going until I get about here, about the same distance from the tip of here, and then we'll finish all this up in the next step. Okay, I'm finally back again. That break was about two days, <laughs> because I'm just so busy right now. Anyway, so we're still here at this point where we've finished everything. We've just left the center open. Now, in your packet you are going to find a handful of long pieces and these are going to be your tassel okay so what you're going to do is any that are fabrics like here's a fabric it's a different fabric than you've used but i like the colors and i think it'll give it a nice color and then i have a, a piece of the pink fabric that you've been using and a piece of the rosy teals fabric that you've been using and let's see any other fabrics in there no okay so let's choose those so here are three fabrics that i want you to get now when you're doing your tassel um you can leave this so that they're uneven and unevenness is a good thing it's not a bad thing it adds to the tattered look and then any of these um, pieces that you have here, just like you you took apart, you know, the strings from, took off the strings. If there's any excess strings, it's good for you to remove those strings. It'll help, um, you know, to be less messy when you're done. So take each one and fold it up, uh, not exactly in half, like this one I'm leaving here. This much, like a difference. And each one you can do it differently. They're, they're probably slightly different lengths. They're not exactly all the same lengths. But I like to give um, mine variety um, in in the sizes, and so I just place them like that. Oops, I forgot to tell you about this one. Also, this one. This is a just a long lace piece. Let me show it to you. See, and that one you can stick that in there also. And like I said, make them varied lengths, not all the same lengths, because like I said, that adds to the character of your. And what you're going to do is you're going to actually do a large lark's head with all of these. And now, when you put them in order, I want you to put them in order of which you would want to be seen more. So this is a piece of lace fabric, and I think I want it in the background. So I'm going to put that first. And then this one is a slightly different um, fabric. So it's not the same one, but I do like the colors in it. But, so I'm going to put that one next. And then what you're doing is you're just kind of folding them and making them here. This is getting ready for your lark's head. You're going to do several together. And then I think I will do the pink next. And the reason I chose the pink next is um, you can have your own reasons, but my reasoning is this, that it's very, it's a very strong color and it will come through um, much more than the other one. So here's that one. Then I'll put this one, and it really is not that important to which colors you choose. 
but I like to choose my order of my colors so um, then I make sure that I get them and I put them all the right sides together so here's the right side so there's only two fabrics that you have to worry about this one the right side this one the right side and then you then I just stack them on top of each other just like that and smooth them out and then just like you did the other fold you're gonna do the same type of a of a thing but with several and with your goal of making those two that are fabrics face upward now um, make sure you have your heart the same direction it was before so that it works for you put it through and you're going to use well, it's going to be more than one fabric and you are going to larks head it on like the other all the other ones you did and these are just the longest parts of your tassel i always do things in kind of series of orders and that's how I figured out how I liked it. And, um, okay, now here. Now you can see here, oops, here's the loop. Okay, and then I want you to place the knot right below. See, this is the point of your heart. That's where I want you to place this knot. Okay, it's going to go lower and underneath. So how these ones are on the side, this one's going to go also underneath. And it is I don't it doesn't need to be really really tight. So look at how pretty all that looks. All those. And then now also let's say that these turn and you don't like that they're turning. So this one right here is turning here. Let's turn it. You can flip it. And then really later on um when you start glue, you're gonna start gluing on top of them. So you'll be able to then glue them turn the right way later if they're if it bothers you. But really, this is a tattered wreath. It's not like detrimental, but I do like to think about that because I do want the colors to come through. And you can see clearly how the pink just comes right through because it's a darker pink. So that's the start of it. And there will be a lot of other things in your um, kit.